Peacemaker, I believe, and a lot of people disagree with me on this, and that's perfectly fine. I believe Peacemaker is the single greatest DC show ever put on television. And I say that as somebody who loved Arrow. I say that as somebody who loved Smallville. I say that as somebody who uh, enjoyed at least the first couple of seasons of Superman and Lois. But Peacemaker, man, and I had to eat a lot of crow. Because as much as I loved Peacemaker in the Suicide Squad, I was like, really? You're going to make a show around that character? This is a dumb idea. That's what I said. <laughs> well, turns out, the moment it started, if you really want it, if you really want it, take that. Like, I was hooked. <laughs> I got hooked. It is the best show DC has ever had on television. And I say that as somebody who loves Doom Patrol. It's the greatest. Love it. And when it ended... All I could do was think about when is this thing coming back? And it's been a long time coming. Well, James Gunn, uh, as active as he is on social media, was on threads. And one of his viewers, uh, one of his readers and followers on, on there asked him this. I said, what's the status of Peacemaker? I got to say that is quite possibly the best opening of ever show I've ever seen. By the way, the opening of, of that show is the greatest opening of any TV show ever in history. That's, uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. To which James Gunn responded. He said this, I'm about to go upstairs and continue writing season two. Now, to some people, that might sound like, oh, that, that doesn't really mean anything. I think it's incredibly significant. When you understand that James Gunn right now is preparing, not just as the producer and as the studio head, he's preparing to direct a major motion picture in Superman Legacy. That we are not far away from them starting production on that thing. And it's coming out in 2025. I actually was living in a little bit of a nightmare believing that we might have to wait until 2025 for James Gunn to even get together the time to start writing, you know, uh, Peacemaker season two. But apparently James Gunn is a master of the multitask and uh, he is writing Peacemaker season two as we speak, which means to me that we are probably going to get Peacemaker sooner than I thought, because I didn't think there was any chance we we're going to see Peacemaker before 2026. And maybe we actually will if Gunn is actually working now on writing the script, even while he's trying to get Superman legacy. By the way, I just want to point out, if we go back to his uh, thread there, I uh, I took the uh, liberty of being a smartass in replying to it. And I just want to point out that out of all the replies to James Gunn's uh, you know, thread there about writing Peacemaker Season 2, mine has the most likes. There you go. Yeah. You win it, Fred. I win. Yeah. Winning. Put that on my yeah. business card. Ah, the most yeah. liked. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. Now, it wasn't just that question that got answered about Peacemaker. Some people have been wondering, what will Peacemaker's place be in or out of continuity and canon with the new DCU? Because... Technically speaking, <laughs> John won social media. <laughs> Technically speaking, um, like the first season one was in the DCEU, which is now about to die after Aquaman. And now they're making season two. What is the status of it going to be? Well, he clarified that because another person on threads asked, is season two canon for the new DCU? And James Gunn responded with an affinitive yes. So it is actually now going to be canon. Now, some people may ask, well, wait a minute. How, how could it have been canon with the DCEU, which is now being swept away, and yet it is canon for this? I've always maintained this, Rob, and I, I don't know if you and I have ever talked about this, and I don't know um, what you think about this, but I've always kind of contended, if you look at the Peacemaker season one. Right. <clears throat> While they mention Batman and they mention Flash and they mention Superman, there's actually nothing definitive in the series that ties it to the Batman, Flash, and Superman of the DCEU. And I've always said, if you retcon just one scene in the entire series, in the season finale, when Aquaman and Flash, Jason Momoa, Ezra Miller show up there with a shadowed out Wonder Woman and Superman. They don't actually see, you know, Henry Cavill or whatever. But you see Jason Momoa. I said, if you just retcon that one scene, then you can say 
that Peacemaker didn't actually happen in the DC EU, the series did. I mean, obviously you did win the movie of Suicide Squad, but the series, you can easily do that. So I don't think it's going to be hard to move him from, yeah, there's that shot. By the way, that scene was awesome. Uh, Fuck you, Barry, is like one of my favorite lines in a TV show in a long time. But uh, I think it's going to be easy. So I'm not surprised. Rob, I am surprised that he's already writing season two, considering he's getting ready to make Superman Legacy. This dude's a multitasker. We want to take a moment and thank the sponsor of this video, Masterclass. Guys, you know, as a small business owner, I am finding myself having to be in negotiations all the time, whether it's with new contractors, vendors, or even agencies that represent our company. Now, I don't like to go into these negotiations unarmed, so I found the perfect class on Masterclass, The Art of Negotiation by Chris Voss, a real-life former FBI lead hostage negotiator. Taking this class on Masterclass made me feel a lot more equipped and confident going into all these various negotiations I have to do on a regular basis. With Masterclass, you can learn from the best to become your best anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. An annual membership starts at just $10 a month, and you get unlimited access to every instructor, thousands of online lessons, exclusive content, insight, and much more. There are over 180 classes to pick from, everything from filmmaking with Martin Scorsese all the way to cooking with the great Gordon Ramsay. In Masterclass, you will find practical lessons that you can apply to your life and work. So guys, get unlimited access to every class. And right now, as a John Campy Show listener, you can get 15% off when you go to masterclass.com slash campia. That's masterclass.com slash campia for 15% off an annual membership. Masterclass.com slash campia. What do you think about those two comments? Number one, Peacemaker's being written right now, and are you looking forward to it? And number two, about his statement saying, yes, Peacemaker season two is firmly in the canon of the new DCU. What do you think? Well, first of all, John, like you, I I love this show. I was dubious, and I'm like, really? Because I didn't love Peacemaker in The Suicide Squad. He was John Cena was fun, but I I wasn't I wasn't sold. You know After who the does first- love him? Ray Ora loves that character. No. Great or I loves Peacemaker. He Fortunately, sticks not. You know, Peacemaker sticks to his guns. Yeah. Unattended. So, so but for I, those who don't I, know, you know, Ray's favorite character was uh what was his name, Ray? Rick Flag. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Was Rick Flag and Ray just has this forever eternal hate on now for Peacemaker because he killed Rick Flag. That unit, the suicide squad, is now in shambles without Rick Flag. They don't know what it's direction true. to go. That's why there's no sequel. To James Gunn Suicide Squad. John Zeno ruined it. That's it, man. That's <laughs> Sorry, Rob, please back to you. You're no worries. Uh, no, I was just saying that I was after that first episode, I was all in. And I thought that show was just a hoot. It was so good. It was so irreverent. It was so I I mean, I I I covered my mouth going, Oh my god, I can't believe they went there. They went there. It was it was great. So to me. Being that, like you said, it doesn't have that much tie to the to the DCEU. It makes sense to just you can just say whatever you want. Sure, it's part of this new universe. Um, why not? I'll buy into it because I loved it so much. If something's good, you'll accept a lot mm. if it's good. I mean, that's true. That's why we say around here all the time: winning cures everything. If something's good, that yeah. cures it. Yes, yes. Look at the uh, yes. pictures that Jonathan's putting up. He's smiling in all of them, like oh, having a good time. He's gloating. How could you gloat? You about? know why? Because that buzzkill Rick Flag ain't around to kill everybody's good time anymore. Come on, that's right. See, everybody can have fun now. He's Come out on. there partying. <laughs> everything's Man. good. Bring now him the- back. Come on, bring him back. Bring back Rick Flag. Just half cyborg, half flag. <laughs> I have no idea. Bring him back. Come on. We love Bring you. Bring back so that flag. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.